Hi there, Dr. Wolf here. In our previous tutorial with R, we showed the concept of data frames and we've created our own. Well, let's do something more practical this time and actually work with a data file. I have on my ctemp data folder, I have a file called ordered data. Let's get that into R and work with it. First thing we should do is set our working directory. What we can do there is set wd to do that and we're going to say c the location and it's temp and it's data. Note that we use forward slashes. We can confirm our working directory so we'll confirm it and we're going to do get wd working directory okay and then what we're going to do is read the, the file into a data frame named data. So what do we do for this? We're going to do data and we're going to assign it to read dot. It's a CSV so we're going to say the name of our file inside of quotation marks order data dot CSV. Okay that's going to read it in. And then what we can do is confirm that it works. So confirm again and we'll print out our data frame. Okay, we saw this uh, in the prior tutorial. Once we have a data frame, we can print it out and actually see it. So let's do that and let's stop there and run these lines of code and make sure everything works as we had hoped. So we'll move to the top. We'll do run and we'll see that we have our working directory. We read it in. Now before we print it out, look to the right in our environment variables. We have 14 rows and four variables. If we were to expand that, we can see a sampling of what we're working with. So we can see all of our column headers from this data set that we can work with. And we click run again and we see it prints out. So all looks pretty good. Um, let's work with the sales column. And let's uh, work with sales and let's see some of the power of what we can do now just as a starting point. So what we can do is set a variable called sales and we'll assign that to our data frame called data and we're going to set it to ordinal number four and ordinal one is order ID, two is priority and three is quantity and four is sales. So by doing this line we're going to work with the sales column. So let's just print that out and just confirm we're good before we go too far again. So we'll run these couple lines. We don't need to go from the top, it's already in our environment and we see we have sales loaded into our sales variable. Okay, but let's see what we can do. Can we find the highest sale? Now we're dealing with a small set of data, but we could have millions of rows here and R could very well process it for us very quickly. So if we said highest sale and let's assign that to our actual max of our sales variable. Let's see if it can find it and then let's print it out if it can find it. Print and I'll copy paste. I, that way I don't make a typo of my variable name. So let's see if we can find it. So we'll say find the highest sale using max. Okay, so let's do that. And we print it out. Our highest sale is $19,109.61 using this data set. Well, let's figure out all the details about that sale now. How could we actually do that? So let's get the row for the highest sale. And what we could do is let's call that highest sale order details. And we'll set that equal to, and by assigning here, oops, we'll actually use the same consistency. And we'll do subset and we'll do data and it's going to be sales and we're going to do equals equals our highest sale. Okay, so basically what we're saying is we want a subset of the of the data from our data data frame. What we want to do is we want to find in our data set where sales matches our highest sale. Okay, and then we're going to print this out. So print and we're going to see if this actually works. So let's print this out. So let's run those couple lines. Okay, and look what happened. Down below here, we got the row 
with the order ID, the priority, the quantity, and the sales. And it tells us that it was located in row 9 of that data frame. This is how you work with data frames. You, once you have a data frame, there are so many R capabilities you can start to unlock. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. And if you have any comments, please put them below. And I hope you subscribe for, a few, for future R tutorials. Thank you.